you know, I can't believe that in all the time I've had this computer right here, I have not made a video about it. So that's what we're going to do today. Greetings viewers, this is CP666 signing on for a video of this Asus model M51E. We'll go ahead and flip it around here. You can see it is an M51E notebook computer that I picked up for free out of a scrap pile expecting that it wasn't even going to work at all. Well, as it turns out, that isn't true. It works perfectly fine. It came to me with 4 gigs of RAM, and I believe I even put that back in there. No hard drive or hard drive caddy, but that isn't the problem. This doesn't require a special caddy in order to work, which is really nice. I've installed Windows 7 Professional on it. The license on the bottom is for Vista Business. Ugh, Vista. Ew. So nobody's ever going to use that. If take a look here on the front, this is our wireless switch right there. It's actually got a latch on the front, which is pretty cool. A lot of these modern laptops like this one don't have that. This looks rather interesting. We'll come back to that. We have microphone, headphone, USB, a uh, SD card slot there. On this side, we've got another USB port. Got Firewire, which is pretty nice. Looks like S-Video, probably S-Video output. VGA, modem, and ethernet. On the back, there is power plug there. There are two more USB ports here. This is kind of broken right here. But that's all right, it doesn't really matter. There's something else there, I believe that's a... No, that's just a screw, Never mind. <laughs> this is one of those rare machines that I don't really like that much. They put the optical drive on the left side. I suppose if you're a lefty or a mostly lefty. I can write with both hands, and I do write with both hands, but I find this just to be an odd positioning for this, just personally. I mean, I can use it, there's nothing really wrong with that, but it just seems weird to have done it that way. There is a Kensington walk there. So what do we have? That's four USB ports on this machine. So this is actually a rather high-end system, at least for its time. Let's see if I can get the latch open with one hand. I have done it before. I guess that's not happening now. There we go. So now we got that open. You can see, unfortunately, a glossy display, which is now throwing the camcorder's focus through a loop. This up here, 1.3 megapixel, it is a swiveling webcam. It's not 360 degree swiveling, but it still swivels. That's a really nice feature. You can see on this sticker here, or, well, not really, you can't really read it. See, Duo T5750, DVD Sup MTI, no idea what that means. Two gigabytes RAM-wise, although it's been upgraded to four. OS is wiped out, but we know by the license key on the bottom that it's Vista Business. And everything else is pretty well wiped out. Quality with environment in mind. Asus Infusion Technology for Revolutionary Styling. I don't see how dots on a palm rest is revolutionary. In fact, they're, only, they're not even tactile. It's just... It's just a pattern. That's not revolutionary at all. Full-size number keypad. I don't think so. That doesn't look like a full-size numeric keypad to me. And it's not. It's supposed to be four wide and it's only three, so it's squished up. So that's kind of useless. Splendid Video Intelligence Technology, no idea what that is. Of course, I didn't get a hard drive, so it doesn't work. High resolution, <laughs> high resolution webcam. That's only 640 by 480, so whatever. HD Vision, no idea what that means. There's some lights here. This is for battery, which I don't have in this system. Wireless, Bluetooth, there's a power indicator there. I think there's another power indicator up here. There's a hard drive there keyboard lock, and then there's some function keys here. It's got Altec Lansing speaker system. You probably can't see that very well. It says you know, Altec Lansing. The keyboard itself is pretty well, you know, your standard arrangement. Of course, this number pad is not full size like they say. But we're going to go ahead and fire it up, because I've already spent about five minutes blathering about the system. I was very surprised to find when I got this that it worked perfectly fine. Let's see if we can go into setup. Forget what the key is, F2. 
here we got system set up. I should probably check for an updated BIOS for this thing. You can see Core 2 Duo T5750 at 2 gigahertz. Yep, 4 gigs of RAM. Should be 4096, but I guess the rest is being used for video memory. Date and time is correct. SATA operation mode. Enhanced. I probably should have set that to uh, AHCI mode, but I didn't. So, if I do that, Windows is going to freak out, so I'm not going to bother. There's BIOS flashing. You obviously heard that uh, thing at the beginning. So you've got 0 to 8 for options there for the, the post noise, the post sound that you heard when it was booting up. Other than that, just your typical AMI BIOS, nothing really special about it. So we'll go ahead and we will exit, haven't made any changes, and we will boot into Windows. Or maybe we'll, it'll ask us to boot from which device, and we'll boot into Windows that way. This thing certainly won't win any speed records, but that's probably because the hard drive is not the best hard drive. Hey, the zoom control on this camcorder is kind of messed up. It's not focusing anyway, so it isn't going to matter. Alright, I do have a password set, so I will enter that and I will come back. See, I've kept it pretty well bog standard. There's an update. And we can see it's obviously complaining about the fact that there is no battery on this system. But there isn't. So we will go ahead and we will take a look at the system specifications. I think that's really going to do it for the video. There isn't much else I can think of to say. I have customized it, as you can see. So you see Windows 7, Service Pack 1, 4 gigs of RAM, 2 gigahertz CPU, 64-bit operating system. And here are our Windows Experience Index scores. CPU gets a 5.0, and so does the RAM. 3.5 and 3.1 for the graphics, but that's not really a big deal. I believe this thing has only got Intel graphics. But we'll go ahead and take a look at that in a second. And a 5.9 for the hard drive because it's artificially limited. Got a couple unknown devices there. Display adapter, yep. Mobile Intel 965, so this is a 965 chipset. And other than that, the system I actually use as my outdoor low-end radio broadcast PC. So it does everything for that. And it's obvious that it isn't quite up to the task of doing everything, but it certainly does work, and until another system comes along, that's what this is going to do. I haven't investigated buying another battery for it, but let's be real, I don't really care that much, so there you go. Let's go ahead and just have a look at the webcam quality on this thing. Just, you know, because it made mention that it's a high-resolution webcam, if it'll ever open a mini-cam. See, that that's a hard drive light, and it is on almost solid, so... <laughs> Not a winning proposition for that, so I'm probably going to have to get another hard drive for this at some point. I probably have one in my stash, but I wonder, is it ever going to open? Man, that takes forever. Oop, the webcam's on. You can see the green light. So here we go. Here is our wonderful... Get out of here. What, did I make it crash? There we go. So here we can see our wonderful high-definition webcam. What a pile of crap that is. It's not even good frame rate, but look at this. Terrible. You can see the camcorder that I'm using to shoot the video. Everybody's favorite. So anyway, I think that's pretty much going to do it. This is already drug out to 10 minutes. So we'll go ahead and we'll exit that and we'll shut the computer down. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then, oh yeah, I didn't mention, it does have a fingerprint reader right there.
This thing is fully loaded to the nines. I still can't believe that they tossed it and it works perfectly fine. It just blows my mind. Maybe because it was running Windows XP or something? I don't know. But that's pretty wasteful.